Super Audio CD players are the pinnacle of digital sound reproduction. But for most of us, by the time they came around, we'd already moved on to more compressed formats, such as MP3. So what Sony's done is they've created the UDA-1, which is essentially a digital to analog converter for high resolution files with a built-in amp. The design is simplicity itself and certainly does not reveal the technology hidden underneath its hood. The front panel and entire chassis is of aluminum construction. There's a large volume knob, input selector, and power buttons and LEDs indicating which input you've selected. So there's certainly nothing too adventuresome about the industrial design, but there's nothing distasteful about it either. The physical setup of the unit was relatively simple. All you had to do was take the enclosed uh, USB cable and then use it to connect directly from your uh, laptop or your desktop computer and then right into the uh, UDA-1. Uh, now there's a, ne a necessary thing you have to do um, related to downloading the driver. And so um, unfortunately it's uh, not available on a CD that's packaged with the disc. Uh, you have to actually physically type in the URL because it's just provided in the instruction manuals. And then that sends you to a page where you can then download um, the driver and have that installed, which was a relatively simple process. Uh, you'll also need, in addition to that, uh, a high resolution audio player. So your uh, typical iTunes without any kind of modifications to it will not work. Sony also provides one of those on their site. Again, you have to go to another page to download that. So I feel like if those two things, the driver and the player were bundled together, it would be a little bit of an easier experience as far as getting the setup rolling in the first place. Now, as I mentioned, there are actually third-party applications that you can purchase that actually allow you to use iTunes as a high-resolution player. Now, much to my disappointment, I actually was not able to play back DSD files in Sony's own high-resolution player. So that was a bit of a surprising to me, but every time um, I actually went to the specific site that Sony recommended, downloaded actual DSD files from the site, and attempted to play them back, it wasn't possible with the player. As far as inputs go, there are plenty to pick from. There's USB 2 on the back, but if you have USB 3, of course, it's backwards compatible. There's also a USB input on the front, so if you want to connect a um, iPod or something of that type, you can do that. There's also coaxial digital, optical digital, as well as um, both inputs and outputs for analog. So the nice thing about this is this allows you to either use it as strictly as a digital to analog converter, so you could um, actually output it into a receiver that you have in your main system and use it to play back your files like that, or you can actually use the 20 watt amplifier that's um, actually contained within the unit. You can set, up, set it up in, for instance, a DIN or an office, and you'd have a self-contained high resolution music player right there in, a, in a one package. Although I was unable to play back the DSD files, ALAC was more than sufficient for me to go ahead and do some uh, listening tests. And so what I did in the first round is I went ahead and I ran the analog output from out of the player, or from out of the unit, into my reference system. And once again, I was impressed with the um, superior quality of the sound. Um, it was very detailed, the, the vocals were very articulate, um, it was very much similar to the XA5400ES, my Super Audio CD player that I use in my reference system. And so from that perspective, I think they've, uh, Sony's hit, the, hit a home run on this particular unit. Now the other thing that I did after that was then just use this, the unit as a standalone. So I hooked up two bookshelf speakers to it, and I went ahead and auditioned the system then just using those. And so once again, um, the system sounds wonderful and it was, uh, even with just 20 watts per channel, it was able to fill a medium-sized room without any difficulty at all. So again, just as a standalone system, uh, for instance in a den, uh, in a secondary room, in your bedroom, this system is excellent because it, it uh, creates very, very detailed vocals, a very high quality sound in a small package, and again, it fills up a medium-sized room without any effort at all. Now what I was really hoping for was that the UDA-1 would actually make my MP3s sound a little bit better. 
And anybody who has listened to just a normal red book CD and a Super Audio CD player knows that the uh, ability to completely improve the sound of those standard CDs is actually pretty exceptional. Um, you almost feel like you're listening to a new CD. Um, but I didn't get quite the same in the case of MP3s being played back through the system. In fact, when I did an A-B comparison between just the straight output from my Apple TV, playing back an MP3 file, there was no discernible difference at all. So this just goes to show that once you compress those files, once you take out that detail, uh, there's no way to get that back. Even if, even if the system has some ability to try to accommodate for the fact that you're listening to a highly compressed file, you're never going to get that quality back once you lose it. So for audio files who are looking to wean themselves off their huge CD collections, the ADA-1 is an excellent choice for doing that. Uh, the only drawbacks is that is, since you have to play the files back from your computer, they're not going to be the best for integrating into a, a home theater system. So um, in that case, Sony has several other high resolution digital players that actually have uh, internal storage and allow you to connect external storage also. And for this particular case, if you're trying to integrate it into a system, that's probably the best way to do it. But if you're again setting a system up in either uh, a bedroom or your office or a den, it's perfect for bringing some high quality sound into those listening spaces where you don't want to have a big, uh, big home system installed in there and to bring that music in there and really enjoy it without having a large footprint uh, on your desk surface.